Once you have a project underway, you want to compare it to where you thought you should be or where you planned to be. Now, the quick way of doing that is to take your project, and we're going to take My Bedroom August underway, and look at the project information. From here, we access the statistics, and that is our quick snapshot window to tell us where we are compared to where we should be. So we can see our current start and finish date, our baseline start and finish date, so we're a week behind that currently, and we're not even there yet. Actual start, and we haven't got a finish date yet, and we are 5.65 days adrift of where we said we would be. Duration wise, currently it's going to take 34.79 days, but we said we'd do it in 29. We're actually so far in 16 with 18 to go. Same with work. Currently, we'll look at spending 187 hours. Actually, we had a baseline of 202, so we're currently planning to spend less work time. That's because the plaster has saved us some time. And the same with cost. Our baseline cost is actually higher than our current projected costs, but we've actually only spent 1,200, so there's still 12,000 in the pot to go. Percentage complete. Duration wise, we're nearly halfway, so time wise, we're nearly halfway, but actual factoring the working. We're not even a quarter of the way through. So that's just the statistics. Quick snapshot of where you are at any point in time. If we want to trace where we should have been and what we would have been doing, then we need to change this Gantt chart for the tracking Gantt chart. If you go to task, we can change the chart here to the tracking Gantt, which is in the list. And you see the left hand columns are pretty much the same task name, duration, start, finish, but the right-hand Gantt chart is now completely different. You'll find that each task has been split into two horizontal bars. An upper horizontal bar, which is the current task's location in the Gantt chart, and then a gray lower horizontal bar, which is the baseline. So this first task, move out old furniture, its gray bar is there, because that's where it should have taken place, but the blue bar is partly here and then split with the rest over here. And then these following tasks have their baseline back here, but their actual over here, because that's where they should have taken place, but this is where they have taken place. And we can see that all the way through. We also see a bit like we did in the detail Gantt, that critical tasks are red. They're still red in the tracking Gantt, but we are way off as far as planning goes. Milestones are in white, for the baseline, but grey for the actual. So that's where we will finish if we keep to our current plan. Don't forget, we're only part way through. It's now going to be September the 18th. So that's your tracking Gantt. It allows you to see where you should have been and where you are in the same Gantt chart by splitting your tasks into two horizontal lines. So they're the same height, but now we've got half that height used for the actual and half that height used for the baseline. If that gets a little confusing, you can soon go back to the normal Gantt chart just by going to the task, ribbon, and Gantt chart. So you can see this is just your plan and shows your actuals, but doesn't show you where you should have been. This also shows the resources, whereas the tracking Gantt shows percentage complete. So they differ slightly. It's the same data underneath, but by using the tracking Gantt, you can compare where you should have been with where you are.